This is the Express Lift Company in Northampton, and this tower is where they test their lift. As buildings got higher, there was a demand for lifts to travel faster. This motor powers a high-speed lift that travels the whole height of the tower. Speeding up a lift is quite simple. The motor is just connected directly to the pulleys without any gears in between to slow it down. High-speed lifts were first used on the Woolworth building in 1913, and they've changed very little ever since. The only limitation on speed is comfort, which depends mainly on the car's acceleration. If I stand on some weighing scales as I go down, my normal weight's about 10 stone, my apparent weight should drop. Yeah, there it goes, for instant dieting. If the acceleration was any greater, I would feel I'd left my stomach behind. And then when it stops accelerating, my weight goes back to normal. And uh, finally, when we get to the bottom and it decelerates, my apparent weight should increase, sort of literally weighing me down. Yeah, there it goes. Different countries tolerate different accelerations, Japan the least and Australia the most. About 10 storeys is considered the maximum practical distance for a lift to accelerate, and this effectively determines the maximum practical speed, about 20 foot per second in this case. The control gear has become extremely sophisticated. There are several microprocessors in here, using the information from the sensors to control the lift motor. The control gear not only has to respond to all the switches and sensors in the car, but it also has to manage where the lifts go. This is a control simulator at Express Lifts, uh, and it's currently being used to test the program to work out the best way for a group of four lifts to answer a number of different calls. So if, for instance, I set a call from the 12th floor, I think, God, oh, this lift's going to answer it, the third lift. So it's come down to the 12th floor, then I think the doors should open. So then, say, the person who's got into that lift wants to go to the 7th floor, um, lift, the doors should close again, and uh, the lift should start going down. Well, um, if these lifts receive a whole lot of calls together, then uh, the number of different possible combinations for the, for the lifts to answer all these calls quickly grows to uh, hundreds and thousands. It's the microprocessor that decides the most efficient way to answer them all.